Hello everyone, and welcome to this mountaintop flow. All you'll need today is a mat, some water, and yourself. We'll begin in a seated position, cross-legged or in hero's pose, on your knees with your heels underneath you. If you have a block, you can feel free to place one underneath your tailbone here. Finding yourself in a seated position, close off your eyes. Bringing the hands to the knees, Palms down to ground or palms up to receive. As you close off the eyes, begin to hone in to your senses. Notice what you smell in the air around you. Maybe you smell fresh air. Begin to hone into the sounds around you. From the sounds furthest away to ones a little bit closer. To the sound of your own heart beating in your chest. Begin to take notice of what your breath is doing right now of your natural breath, I'm not trying to change it. Now adding intention to our breath, inhaling down to the body, down to the pelvic floor, letting the breath slowly fill up the chest, then the collarbones, then the throat. Exhale, releasing it back down the other way from the throat, collarbones, chest, then belly. Keep breathing this way, drawing the breath down first, letting it slowly fill up like a glass of water. One more breath this way. I'm going to open our eyes when you're ready. Beginning to roll out the wrists, both directions, warming up the joints. Inhale, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, palms through heart center. Once more, inhale, reaching the arms overhead. Exhale, palms through heart center. This time, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, placing the left fingertips on the left side, reaching the right arm over for a side body. Bend, stretching through the right side body. So really feeling like you're lengthening through the left side, then reaching the right side as far as possible. Maybe gazing up towards the right thumb. Inhale, coming back through center. And exhale, other side, reaching those right fingertips towards the ground on your right side. Left arm comes overhead, maybe gazing towards the left fingertips, keeping those rib cage on the right side lengthened as we open through the left side body. Rolling left shoulder blade back and down. Inhale back through center. Exhale, forward fold, hinging at the hips here, walking the fingertips forward, keeping the spine long for one breath, inhale, and then exhale to round forward. Inhale, walking the fingertips back to center, hands at heart center. Set an intention for your practice today. Coming on to our all fours position, 
a little unbalanced here. Keeping your shoulders over your wrists, hips over the knees. We're gonna tuck the toes under. Inhale, reaching the left fingertips forward. Exhale, reaching right heel back. One strong line here. Hold. Inhale to lengthen, keeping the crown long. Exhale to open both the arm and leg to the side. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale to open. Inhale back to center. This time lowering the left palm down, lowering the right toes down, rocking back and forth, opening up the right calf. Keeping the navel tucked in this whole time to activate your core. Exhale, bring that right knee down, switching sides. Inhale, reaching the right fingertips towards the front of the mat. Exhale, reaching the left heel back. Active here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, out to the side. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale, planting the right palm, planting the left ball of the foot behind you for some calf pulses here, opening up that left calf, keeping the navel tucked in, lengthening through the crown. Exhale, bringing that left knee back into tabletop, tucking the toes under here, begin to hover the knees, exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Walking out the feet here, getting comfortable, taking whatever movement you feel like you need in this position. Some of that might be walking your feet out, that might be stillness, might be a little bit of a twist to open up the side body. Wherever you are, keeping the shoulders rolled back, index fingers pointed forward, heels towards the ground and hips towards the sky. Always an option to keep a bend in your knees here. Keeping the spine straight is a priority. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale to open the hip, keeping the shoulders square. Roll out the ankle here. For three. And other way. For three. Beginning to roll out the knee. Drop it down towards your other knee. Then left knee comes up towards the sky for some hip circles three here and place that back down other side lifting up the right foot bending and opening through that right hip rotating the ankle for three three the other way and then bringing the right knee towards the left for some hip circles opening that hip for three and bringing it back down Inhale high up onto the toes, exhale to sink the booty. Walk, stepping, or jumping in between your fingertips. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. In your forward folds here, option to grab opposite elbows. Shake the head yes, shake the head no. Releasing any tension from your day. Keeping a micro bend in your knees. Inhale, slowly rise up. Bending the knees in and reaching the arms all the way overhead. Exhale, palms to your heart center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, placing the palms down, stepping back for our first plank position. Lowering down this first time on our knees for our modified chaturanga. Inhale, baby cobra. Arching the back, rolling the shoulders back, tucking the chin in, engage the navel. Exhale, release back to the mat, tuck your toes under and sink back, child's pose. Inhale, coming back to our all fours position. Tucking the toes under, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the left leg. This time, bring the left knee to the left elbow, hovering here, before placing the left, toe, uh, left ball of the foot by the left thumb, coming up into our high lunge position. 
keeping the left knee stacked over the left ankle. Inhale, both arms up. Option to keep your right knee down here. This is too challenging. Rolling the shoulders back, reaching the fingertips high. This time, bring both hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, opening, cracking open the heart. Exhale, bring your both your shoulders to the inside of that left knee. Engaging through the legs, you got it. Inhale, coming back up, releasing the hands back towards the sky. Exhale, plant the hands on either side of the left foot. Tuck the left knee in, reaching it back up. Opening the hip this time, coming into our wild thing. Option to stay here if this feels like enough of a stretch. Option to bend slightly into that right foot, bringing the left, uh, all of the foot behind you. Opening the heart and reaching the left fingertips behind you for a wild thing. Really opening to universal energy here. Opening your heart. Exhale, bringing it back. So rotating on the left ball of the foot, reaching the right toes back up towards the sky and placing the foot back down. Great job. Other side, inhale, raise the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bringing the right knee towards the right elbow, hold here. Exhale, planting the right foot by the right thumb, reaching the arms up towards the sky. Again, option to stay down onto this left knee here. Rolling the shoulders back, reaching the arms up. Exhale, bringing both palms behind you, this time switching the interlace. Inhale, cracking open the heart, finding balance here. Exhale, bringing both of your shoulders to the inside of that right knee, keeping the right knee tracking over the right ankle. Open the heart. It's okay if you wobble here. Keeping the legs strong, you got it. Inhale back up, releasing the interlace, reaching the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, planting the palms on either side of the right foot, tucking that right knee in. Reaching the right leg up towards the sky. Bend stack open through the right hip. Again, option to stay here or option to come into your wild thing on this side. Breathing here, reaching the right fingertips up and over. Coming back, center rotating on our left foot. Bringing the right knee back down. Walking out the feet, great job. Inhale, high up onto the toes. Exhale to sink the booty. Walk, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly sweeping the arms up and over. Exhale, the cactus, the arms open the heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, bring the palms down by the sides. Remembering your intention that you set at the beginning of the practice. Notice how your breath has changed from now, from the beginning of practice. Maybe it's gotten slightly deeper. Whatever it is, bring your awareness to that. To this moment. Inhale, reaching the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sinking chair pose, keeping the knees over the toes, tucking the tailbone in. Reaching the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bringing hands to heart center, rotating towards the left, hooking the right elbow onto the left, twisting towards the left side. Inhale, opening the arms if this is available to you. Maybe stepping the left foot back <laughs> for an open lunge. Twisted lunge here. 
reaching the left fingertips towards the sky. If this is available, you can lift both arms up, reaching your arms in opposite directions. And exhale, bringing it back the way that you came. So keeping the elbow on the outside, stepping the right leg to meet the left, bringing the palms together. Now option to fly in your side crow, bringing both hands to the outside of this left hip. Your left elbow comes by the left um, glute, and your right comes by the knee. Keeping the hands strong here, maybe floating both legs out. Engaging the core, gazing at least a foot in front of your fingertips. Wherever you are, coming back into your twist, then coming back to center. Inhale, release, reaching the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, bow from the heart. Inhale, reach. And exhale, sinking chair pose, repeating on the other side. So, I'm just gonna rotate so you can see it better. Lowering down into our chair, knees over the toes, tucking the navel in, reaching the arms up towards the sky, but rolling the shoulder heads back. Exhale, bring hands to heart center. This time, hooking the left knee on, or the left elbow on the right knee and twisting to the right. Really inhale to lengthen through the crown and exhale, twist. Option to reach your fingers on opposite sides, touching the left fingertips down on the ground, reaching the right fingertips towards the sky, maybe stepping the right, right, uh, left ball of the foot back for your revolve lunge here. Balancing, you have strong legs, maybe lifting up for our full revolve lunge here. Reaching your arms in opposite directions. Maybe gazing towards the right thumb. Really engaging through the left quad here. Inhale, bringing it back the way that you came. Left fingertip by the right pinky toe. Bring the left foot to meet the right in our chair pose. Staying here or coming into our side crow, planting both hands on the outside of the right hip, bringing the right elbow to the right glute, bringing the left elbow to the inside of that right knee, and then maybe floating. Gazing at least a foot in front of you. Wherever you are, coming back to center, Coming to that revolved chair pose and inhale, exhale here, sinking lower, inhale, reach towards the sky, exhale, release, forward fold, great job. Maybe swaying side to side. Inhale, rolling up to standing. Coming into some tree pose here. Connect us with the mountains. So, bring all of our weight into our left foot. Inhale the right knee up to 90 degrees. Finding a gaze point at least six feet in front of you. Rotate this right hip so that your hip is open, still at 90 degrees. Holding here, working on building our strength. Then bringing your right toe to either tripod at the bottom of the mat onto your calf or onto your inner thigh here. Bringing your palms together, bringing your arms outstretched for balance, or bringing your arms up towards the sky, maybe waving them like a tree. Inhale, 
inhale here and exhale releasing the foot slowly bring it back to hip square 90 degrees then planting it down shake it out before we move on to the other side this time placing all the weight into your right foot find that gaze point lift the left knee to 90 degrees flexing the left foot open the hip then bringing your left toe to either tripod bring the foot to the calf or bringing it all the way up to your inner thigh hands can come to the same position they were in last time either hands at heart center open to the side or up towards the sky maybe waving side to side like a tree wherever you are exhale releasing that knee out to the side bringing it square to 90 degrees and planting it down shaking it out great job inhale reaching the arms up towards the sky exhale bringing the palms down stepping back to our plank position exhale lower chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog inhale reach the left leg up towards the sky exhale bringing the left knee to the outside of the left elbow planting the left foot on the outside inhale reach the left fingertips up towards the sky engaging through the right quad keeping this leg straight breathe here opening through that shoulder exhale bring that left hand back on the inside this time stepping forward to malasana so stepping this right foot to the outside of the right hand and lowering down for our yogi squat bringing the elbows to the inside of the thighs to give us more open hips here pulling the chest forward breathe Coming into option to come into our crow position here. So stay in your malasana if that feels like it's a challenge for you. Otherwise, bringing your hands slightly in front of your feet. Coming onto your toes first, you're gonna be bringing your knees to the right behind your armpits. So finding a good hand position about hip distance apart, then you're going to slowly bring maybe one foot up first then the other one holding here and then coming back down maybe <laughs> let me see if I can find a better spot for this maybe jumping back into your chaturanga meeting in downward facing dog great job this time inhale the right leg comes up exhale bring the right leg on the outside of the right hand coming into our lizard position here inhale the right arm reaches towards the sky open the heart lengthen through the crown reaching those fingertips as far as you can remember to breathe yoga is a breathing meditation exhale planting your right hand on the inside of your right foot stepping that left leg forward into our malasana once more opening the heart bringing in all of the good healthy mountain air the sunlight and option to come into your crow one more time here so bringing your hands in front of you finding that balance point playing around with bring one foot off maybe hovering with the two for a moment maybe trying it on the other side building your strength so that you can do both gazing at least a foot in front of you exhale coming back down either you're just stepping your feet down or jumping back to low chaturanga downward facing dog 
great job walking the feet forward towards the hands widen your stance here just let your body hang heavy keeping a micro bend in the knees and release Inhale and slowly rise up. Bring your feet together, rolling the shoulder blades back. Inhale the left foot up, just grabbing onto that left knee, interlacing your hands to open up that hip, pulling it towards you, stretching the hip flexors here, planting it back down and switching sides. Put the weight in your left foot, bringing the right knee up and hugging it into your chest with interlaced hands. Opening through the hip flexor on the right side. Planting this back down. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale to twist to the left, arms outstretched. Using your obliques here and other side, twist to the right. Once more each direction, keeping your torso where it is, or keeping your lower body where it is, moving only your upper body. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, sink the hips down, coming into a seated position. Bring the soles of your feet together for Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. <clears throat> Keeping your, let your knees fall out to the side. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hinge forward. As much as you can with the straight spine. One more breath here. Inhale, bringing your knees together, lowering down towards the ground. Bring your heels to touch your fingertips, feet parallel, hip width distance. Inhale to press your spine into the mat. Exhale to slowly lift vertebra by vertebra, starting with your tailbone all the way up for a glute bridge. Checking that you can still see the top of your thighs. Interlace your fingers behind your back, rolling the shoulder blades under, opening the heart. Exhale to lower down slowly. Inhale, hugging the knees in, rocking the spine side to side. Inhale, scooching the hips over to the left, dropping the knees to the right, opening the arms into a T, looking up towards the sky or gaze left, opening into that right shoulder more, finding your seated twist flying twist. Inhale back through center, this time scooching the hips over to the right, dropping the knees to the left, opening the arms and gazing forward or toward the right. Inhale back to center, this time coming into our final resting position. Our feet are as wide as we want them to be, our arms outstretched below, taking up space here in your Shavasana. Absorbing all of the benefits of this practice today, calming our mind, moving our body, connecting our breath to movement in the beautiful mountains. <sighs> Let all of your thoughts dwindle away.
releasing them, letting them go. All that you are is right here in this moment. Release to the earth, feeling love and surrender. Be ready to end this practice with me. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, bringing feeling back into your body. Rolling the wrists out, rolling the ankles. Hugging the knees in and dropping them to one side, whichever side feels right for you today. Bring the forehead down to the mat to say thanks to the earth for loving us and for supporting us. Pushing yourself up to a seated position, eyes closed, hands at the heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. The love, the light, and the teacher in me honors and cherishes the love, the light, and the teacher in you. Namaste.